Hi guys, welcome to this video about the question how good that you can use the GoPro Hero 7 Black as a universal YouTube camera. Of course the GoPro is the perfect camera when it comes to outdoor like skiing, snowboarding, in the water, out in the woods, uh, whatever, then it's perfect. On the other hand, if you only need a desktop camera, then there are definitely better solutions. So in my use case, which I'm covering here, we have a, something like a situation which is in between these two things. And for me, the situation is like when you have, when you do an unboxing or you do, uh, you show how you work on small stuff. You have to walk a little bit around. Uh, a tripod is not, not a good option. So for me, always a chest mount is a good option. And you can see on the left bottom side how it looks with the GoPro. And on the right bottom, you see how it looks with a mobile phone. Uh, which I'm using a lot to make YouTube videos. So uh, when it comes to how easy it is to use, there was not much difference. I mean, it is very similar in weight and it was both have been quite easy to start and stop and do some adjustments. Uh, the GoPro has the advantage that when the camera is really close, to your body it has the physical buttons where you can use to operate so it means if you want to use the camera straight forward it's difficult to operate the touch screen of a mobile phone the phone which i was using here uh, is the lg g5 it's a little bit an older one but um, i think it's still comparable about to the lg v30 I mean the V30 is a little bit more updated but it is really similar and I think it's similar in price uh, compared to the GoPro about same price range same weight uh, of course there's a big plus with the mobile phone regarding the battery uh, runtime also uh, regarding zooming other options you can use uh, uh, special apps for the camera you can upload directly to youtube but here i just wanted to cover more or less the uh, quality of the video the sound quality and the stabilization of course the gopro has a really nice stabilization but it does not have an optical image stabilization the lg g5 at least with the normal camera has an uh, optical image stabilization and here i was using the normal camera so it should have you uh, a little bit of advantage i think with the wide angle i mean the lg g5 and the v30 they both have an ultra wide angle uh, similar to a gopro not actually as much but uh, I, I just say similar and uh, i'm not sure about the optical image stabilization with the lg g5 and v30 i don't think they have this so now we are coming to the video samples and the sound test and you can decide uh, for yourself which video and which audio you like more sound test one two three four five six seven eight nine ten sound test one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Sound test one two three four five. Sound test one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Sound test one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Sound test one two three four five. So in this video I was not using any artificial light so there was just a little bit of daylight from this side. Unfortunately I haven't made any other tests with more light because it's obvious that on the right side the GoPro has a little bit of a problem when it comes to low light settings. If you have 
a lot of light like uh, if you if you use a beam uh, artificial light then it's not such uh, a problem but you can clearly see that the uh, sensitivity to light is much better with the LG G5 with the GoPro outdoor it's perfect indoor you mostly need artificial light so the uh, video quality I would say is definitely better on the LG G5 regarding stabilization there's not much difference maybe a little bit better with the GoPro I mean I, I was really heavily moving around that's not uh, unfortunately it's not uh, possible to see how much I was moving around but I was really moving a lot so both cameras did actually a quite good job on that and regarding the sound my opinion is I, I had to listen, listen uh, a couple of times first I was more with the LG G5 but at the end I thought I had the impression that the um, the GoPro had a little bit a more natural sound even when it sounds somehow like a little bit more muffled but you can compensate the sound level with an edit and it's not a huge difference definitely so at the end it looks like definitely inside there's a huge uh, advantage for the for a mobile phone like an LG G5 over a GoPro but of course when it comes to outside when it comes to tough things outside in the rain and snow and uh, diving and so on there is no uh, alternate way uh, compared to a GoPro or to another action camera and I have to say that uh, actually I would definitely go with the GoPro compared to other action cameras because the GoPro they make made huge uh, progress I mean they have improved the close-ups uh, by uh, tremendously I mean that's that's a huge difference compared to all the Chinese brands when it comes to close-ups I mean close-up uh, I'm talking about everything which is closer than about five feet or so and I was really surprised with this uh, with the quality of close-ups with the GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black it's, it's a huge improvement to everything else but of course yeah still inside if you do mostly inside then of course it's uh, it, you're way better off if you go with uh, I mean uh, you can uh, use like a dedicated real big heavy camera as, as long as you're not using a chest mount or something like that um, if you do mixed usage I would go with a smartphone still I'm uh, still having the impression that I had uh, did a good choice with the smartphone and if you are doing more outside of course that's no question it's something like uh, it's an action camera has to be an action camera um, especially when it comes to really tough things uh, like roller coaster or really yeah snowboarding water sports w w whatever then there's no no way around that so um, yeah it was not a perfect test but I hope still that I have been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time